Sometimes I just want to understand how people think. How can you decide to buy a concert ticket? Go to this concert just to attack whoever is performing. I'm back again. I'm back again. I'm back again. Yes. Bye, Muka. Bye, Muka. So Cardi B, it's been trending since yesterday evening or yesterday morning or night. And I was like, what's popping? <laughs> has she exposed the titties once again by accident or what's wrong? Or has Offset cheated on her again? No. I thank God it wasn't what I suggested. Bro, Cardi B was on stage in Las Vegas performing, bro. Like, I don't know what came into this concert goer's mind to decide, okay, I'm going to throw my drink at Cardi B. At that right moment, she started performing. And as we know, Cardi B didn't let it slide. She was like, bro, you got to chill. You can't pay for my concert. Come here and misbehave. So what did Cardi B do? She threw the mic she was using at this woman's head. So this incident happened whilst Cardi B was performing Boda Black, one of her hit songs. When it happened, Cardi B didn't want to believe it. Ah, not just say, we walk a concert, a culture, not just say, in Kwasia, then I'll call her some more So she thought, say, it was raining. And then the security intervened, took the woman out. But right now, right now, we don't know whether Cardi B has filed charges against this woman because it is an abuse. You can't come to my concert and misbehave. Like, if your mission was to attack her, why did you even pay in the first place? Because you pay, you, know, you are automatically supporting her. And from her behavior, you know, she didn't like Cardi B. So why did she even go there in the first place? Write your opinion in the comment section. So, now, Wiz Kid, a.k.a. the biggest fucking bird, took over London Tottenham Stadium, I think, yesterday. It was over 60,000 capacity, bro. I saw it. I didn't want. I didn't even want to talk about it because, yo, bro, Nigerians been killing it. It is normal. They are used to it. It's nothing new to them, but it's something new to us Ghanaians. You feel me? So Whiskey did his thing, sold the motherfucker out. The performance was great. From like the people that went there were satisfied. You feel me? But I'm not going to talk about him selling out the stadium because, bro, we done said it a couple times. Yeah, bread. It is, it's, it is normal to the Nigerians. You people are killing it. The reason why I'm sitting here right now, no, hey, I came across a post on Facebook I want to discuss with you all because to me, you know, this post doesn't sound right. Ghanaians always feel entitled to anything or everything. Let me read it to you. This post is coming from Shatawale's former manager, Bulldog. This is what he wrote. So our tubies and the fear will smoke, drink and chill with whiskey anytime he is in Ghana. But can't join him on international stages and showcase their talent to the world. Again, Ghana missed out on national duties at the 62,850 capacity Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London yesterday. What is wrong with us? This is where I have the problem, bro. He said our tubies and if you have been chilling with Wizkid whenever he comes to Ghana. Bro, I didn't tell a Ghanaian thing say, just because I'm rich, you are broke or poor and we are friends, no? You feel entitled to ask me help you. You think, say, it, it, it is necessary for me to help you. Just because they have been chilling, no? doesn't mean, say, wherever Wizkid is going, no? he got to showcase his other friends from other African countries. No. You could ask him, chairman, show me the way. But it is not necessary to say he gotta bring you on stage for you to like showcase your talent. For what reason? When he was putting it in work, you know, where were you Ghanaians? 
Me, I won't even expect Sarko there or whoever to be on stage and be like, yo, Nigerians, when Sarko there comes to Nigeria, yeah, you people chill with him. Why don't you make sure he puts you on or he showcases your talent and blah, 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 blah. No, bro. Ghanaians don't want to do the hard work. Ghanaians don't want to go through the process to succeed. Ghanaians just want to stand up, not just say, what, what succeed and start selling stadiums or whatever. But bro, Things like this will take time. You gotta trust the process. You gotta do the hard work. If you don't wanna do the hard work, don't expect to be on, that, on those stages like Whiskey, Burner Boy, and Co. Those people been hard working. In the Bulldog, what you wrote it doesn't make sense to me. And uh, him saying, said Ghanaians, blah, 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 blah. I came across a video. King Promise was on stage uh, performing, I think, Terminator. <laughs> What about that? He didn't speak about that. He making it look like Whiskey performed alone. Even if Whiskey didn't put a friend and can promise on stage, Krana, I wouldn't have come out and say blah 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 blah. No, bro. Whiskey worked hard for where he is right now. Try to motivate all people to work hard too. They should take these Nigerians as examples, as motivations. You can't let them sit in the corner and be think it's okay. When Whiskey comes to Ghana to perform, I'll make sure he'll showcase my talent because whenever he's here, we've been smoking and drinking together. No, bro. You got to separate business from friendship. When I come and we smoke and we doing it like in a friendship type of way. But when I'm on stage, yeah, it's just about business. If you want to be on stage with Whiskey, that Charlie, you gotta. If you want to be on stage with Whiskey, that you gotta go through different protocols <laughs> you're gonna go through different stages because you telling him whilst you are drinking or you think he said he gotta put you on 24 7 just because he's been drinking and smoking with you won't make sense and doesn't make sense write your opinion in the comment section y'all know what it is like share for the video to go far and for the algorithm whiskey did his thing but Ghanaians and entitlement we are fed up or i am fed up i'm speaking for myself you gotta work hard to achieve your own. Don't be like, Charlie, hands out, hands out, sir. What the fuck? I don't, I'll be begging niggas. Like, share, watch the video till the end. Y'all know what it is. I go by the name Mr. No Sugar Coat. I'm out.